Money plays <laughs> with friends. You're you're losing it, C Dingo. You're on the fucking edge. Lyle, don't test me, bra. bra. Lyle, I just saw him charging up before you got here. Fucking back <laughs> off, dude. <laughs> Don't test me, bro. I, I saw hey, don't him, fuck it. I hey, saw him hey, hey, hombre, swinging don't fuck his fist backwards in a counterclockwise motion, charging up a punch. Oh, we're playing the dual shock. I don't want to play it anymore. I love that version. It's the funniest one. Is that the one where ladies in the 90s put it, it in their vagugas, yeah. and then they were they were getting scared and horny at the same time? They put the, they so they banned women temporarily? <laughs> The outlawed women. When I was, when I had a girlfriend as a young, ch as a young child. No, I was a teenager. Uh, I you held a vibrating controller up to her vagina. Seconds. True story. What did you? What game did you play? Bully. We held back on the slingshot and it started <laughs> vibrating. I like how you said we, like you were both overlapping your hands, like it was, like it was a. It's true. It was, the, it was the best thing we had. Um, have I... you ever had a girl like she puts like a string of spaghetti up there and then you do the, oh, the lady in the that's, tramp that's thing? That's rancid. <laughs> that is disgusting. You suck, up, you suck it up your dick. Ah! That's gross. Oh, that's, that's, how you, that's literally how you get. To... That's how you get like a staph infection. Uh, like what do you call? It? What would you? That's not, not a staph infection. That's like on your skin. Um, I don't know. Prost. Some kind of prostate issue. If you put spaghetti up your cock. Zag, this literally this your guy, face. This guy put too much spaghetti up his cock. <laughs> that's the premise of Resident Evil. <laughs> and then of... when the big bugs come out of their head, that that's the spaghetti in its one, final form. The plot of Resident Evil is one million men put one million pieces of spaghetti up their dicks. Have you seen? Have you seen the video of the guy? It's just a gif. It's a guy standing at the edge of a volcano, looking down while while it's slightly <laughs> erupting. But then it erupts really quickly, and he's just gone. Have you seen that? No, I want to see that. I fuck. There was a point like a year ago where I looked up. Real? I looked up lava no. death, and I've never. <laughs> I've, okay. That's gay. I've always wanted to see a lava death. I don't want anyone to die from lava, but movie, it's happened. There's a shitty movie called Volcano. Is that the one where um, it's like a guy recording inside of a cellar where he's going? <gasps> There's a volcano. Inside. The one was gone. Is it that movie? It's not a found footage movie, no. I saw a found footage movie in high it's, school. It's like a disaster movie. It, it, it's it's Is like. Is it called disaster movie? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Volcano. It's called Volcano. A guy, a guy, there's a part in the beginning and there's a fireman and he's saving a person and there's lava and he jumps into the lava and then throws the person to safety. How does he do that? It's fucking stupid. And then at the end they just, they put the volcano going somewhere else. That's the end of the movie. That's what he's saying. You just killed him. You just killed this little this, man. This, this fucking asshole here is pretending to be dead. See? Oh my gosh. They're tricky. Yeah, he's a tricky dicky. I want this packet of biscuits. Fucking so Who many- Who would win in a fight, Danny Phantom or Timmy Turner? Jeepers, creepers! No, that wasn't an option. He's the third- he's, a, he's the third rival the third character contender. flying around doing circles around him like a vulture. I'm sure that there's like some fucking like bootleg death battle channel that's done that <laughs> one. Epic rap battles of history. Danny, Danny, <laughs> Danny Phantom vs. Timmy Turner. Oh god. I said I... What my... kind of sick asshole do you think thought it would be a good idea to have Drake Bell play a live action version of uh, Timmy Turner? Like that. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, that, that was... That was pretty disgusting. He Fucking was, he Corey. Was like, he was like 37 years old when that happened. Too. Corey was watching. <laughs> no, that he was movie not. And watched it with him. And Did you really? Fucking, yeah, it was god awful. <laughs> if you see, if you look at that, he's got like crow's feet and like prison tattoos. He's like an old man in that. <laughs> you know, he jumped off a diving board and landed on his foot, and his foot had to be amputated. That's what ruined his career. He literally had to have both feet, was, uh, both legs amputated. <laughs> both, both just walks Did, around. Didn't he unironically like fucking get in some kind of a car accident and like crush his hand or something? No, no, no. Unironically, I don't think anyone would do that lot. He, he this will be funny. He slapped into <laughs> a brick wall. No, I, somebody said I, I, somebody I, I, somebody said he was like of... making he was making his own pizza. You know when you like throw the mm. dope in the air? He said he sprained his wrist when that happened. You know? <laughs> <laughs> now he can't play guitar so ever again. Stupid. <laughs> He threw it too hard and it came back down too You're hard. You're fucking goober. <laughs> You're making light of this man's tragic pizza past. He's, it's not as bad as fucking Frankie Muniz is living in hell, his waking nightmare of a life. He fucking hit it, he got a stroke, and he fucking like forgot Christ. all Malcolm in the Middle. Do you know that? Oh, yeah. Wait, what? Frankie Muniz, the guy who played Malcolm in the Middle, who played Malcolm in the show, 
he had a, like three strokes, like three mini strokes, and he said, he said, quote, I thought I could never speak again. Oh, and he God. said he could, he didn't remember doing anything from Malcolm in the Middle. He didn't even know he was in the show. Yeah, he doesn't remember. He forgot 100% of recording anything in that show. I mean, that would be kind of cool, I guess, wouldn't it? Well, maybe not, but like. Wait, having <laughs> three strokes? Having, well, no, having no, 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 no. That's no, pretty but, but cool. Like, but like, it, it doesn't being a child star just make you like an Andy inherently has ro he has person? robotic knees. His knees have given out. Yeah. I'm not joking. Yeah. He, because he drives race cars in circles, he like slammed into a wall a couple of times, and now he has fake knees. Oh, I thought you were, you were going a completely different direction. That's not that's not a bit. No, 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 he I thought you, you were like, oh yeah, he chopped off his feet. No, no, no I'm being serious. He has he has, he has fictional knees. Or not fictional, but he's got fictional. he's got fictional knees. He's got fairy tale knees. He's got frictionless knees. <laughs> he's There's he's like, got really, really he, had to, he had to get an eye removed knees. because uh, he fell down and a splinter hit his eyeball. What is this, Will Smith? I don't think anyone's ever made this joke before. More like Will not Smith. More like won't Smith. This is the, hey, let's. I'm gonna More play a like word game. Last while, will and testament of Smith. Well, I'm gonna make a word game. I'm gonna say a uh, thing. You're gonna say the last word of it, okay? What about me? The last word of it? You're excluding we'll, we'll, me. We'll each say one word. Oh, okay. We're now doing I this feel thing. better. Yes. You ready? Yeah. yeah. The, the other wild boys was the best show <laughs> ever made on Sega CD. What? You should have said MTV. No. <laughs> no. Is that a real show? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't even know. Do you? I have a theory that the longer the gun is, the scarier it is in constant theory. Like if somebody pointed, if somebody pointed a twenty-foot-long gun at your face, you fucking run. Where the fuck is my fucking memory? Chris, type the funniest thing of all time. I do not remember. Oh, we need to use. Where the Jesus yell? Which one of she these? She cried do, more, do, more, more. Do do Jesus yell? Okay. Cubtopia is for another day. Okay. Did you know? Did you know that nobody working on the Emoji movie actually wanted to be in their job? Did you know that every single person working on that movie is dead? Do you think there was like one single person that worked on the Emoji movie? That's it's like, like yes! Guys, well, not even like yes, but like guys, this is really important. We've been given an opportunity to make a multi-million dollar movie. <laughs> we got to do a really good. I can't be like I I can't even fathom that that person would exist. The producer. No, not even. I I think that movie was made. Uh, I really think that was like was some executives, like son. He's like his his little disabled. It's not disabled, but he could have been disabled. Dude, I don't even think there was ever son. a real person involved. I was I I was. You think like, it's, it's made it's gotta, by AI? It's got to be like. Oh yeah, my the kid the kids like the the cell phone and what's on the cell phone? Those little picture thingies. Make a movie about them little picture thingies. Did you see the Emoji movie? No. Wow. You never saw wow. it? Chris, did you see it? I did not see it, but wait, look at this. You ready? A little subtle scare for you, right? Okay, you ready? You scared? You scared? I'm pretty haunted. Look, doop de doop de doo Oh. <laughs> now that's what I refer to as a creature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was... I better I was... stand here and think about what I just saw. That is was something, a Is something gonna fall from the ceiling? In a second? I will say the first time I saw that, my heart sank. You, I was really scared. Chris, do the what? best impression of the scream you did when you first heard that. Did you say monster outside the window? Look at the what? What the fuck are you, Mister? I'm uh, warming my feet in him right now. Homer oh? Simpson plays Resident Evil 2. New video, 7 million views on YouTube. Marge, this game is scaring me. Ah, oh, mommy! What the, what is this brain Hi, monster? Dad, I just did a flip at school on my skateboard. <laughs> what does his little symbol, his uh, letters on his shirt stand for? <laughs> you I want, like this thing. You want does does it try to lick you? Yeah, it's a licker. Huh? It's called a licker. They're in no. Resident Evil 5 as well. Are they? Yeah. They really know how to make the fans smile. And if you played Resident Evil, the remake of one, they say that Crimson Heads are the in-between stage. That's what I call my fucking pecker. Shut the fuck up and let me finish <laughs> my, my fact. Crimson Heads. Crimson Heads are the in-between of a zombie and a, and a liquor. Now you know. Did, did you like so did my joke where I said Crimson or? Head was my big inflamed? I, I did. Head? I did. I did crack a smile. Do they reproduce? Yeah. Well, how do how do you get a fucking middle ground? 
What do you mean middle ground? Like, to get a mule, you make a horse fuck a donkey. What are you talking? All zombies become crimson heads, you big fucking It's like a goob. Pokemon evolving. You fucking idge. But I thought they were bugs. <laughs> I thought they was turned into bugs. What is, is this? Is this Dale? Dale Gribble plays Resident Evil 2 now? This is a completely this different video. This is fucking stupid. I miss the good old days when I used to be cool. You could go behind that podium and give a, a speech to nobody because oh. nobody cares. Ooh. Okay, let's Ooh. do it. Uh, on the uh, today on the agenda, ever, someone's been leaving coffee cups in the bathroom. Oh. Get off! It was me. <laughs> we should put a the coffee pee pee boy. I, I could go into Blender and put something ridiculous in that chair, and it would look really <laughs> good. Have, have a zombie walk in and sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Start listening to him. Have you seen? Whoa, dude! It's literally Dark Souls, right? Oh, that's literally Dark Souls. Resident Evil Two is the Dark Souls. Is of, Resident Evil Two the Dark, Dark Souls of Resident Evil Two? It's a fireplace. There's a naked slut in it. He's being a big bully. I see what he do. Hey, nerd! We're here to pull your pants down. <laughs> we really are. <laughs> we're here to pull your pants and put spaghetti up your ass. We've come up with a slew of insulting nicknames. Well, that including, play to but your not limited to insecurities. Mushroom head. Stupid boy. Stupid brain. Pizza face. Here's a freaking jewel. What the hell is that beacon? Is that a jewel? Is that a shiny jewel? This is a freaking jewel. Steal the jewel. Something is written on the jewel. So Something is written on the jewel, man. I am a jewel. Steal Do not take jewel. me from my monster. Steal the jewel and crush it up. <laughs> <laughs> I freaking love jewels. I love jewels. My favorite thing in the now world is... the apocalypse has set in, Are you I gonna... can reap the rewards for my collection of jewels. <laughs> my freaking jewel fell on the freaking uh, ground. Guys, please go to jewel.com. <laughs> my shop is going out of business. Nobody's visiting jewel.com. <laughs> I have been collecting <laughs> jewels my entire life. I already life. fucking told you, you retards. I have 2,700 it's jewels and nobody cares. Many crypts and tombs I've searched for for the shiniest of jewels and no one is buying <laughs> them. My How much millennials! Is, How much is jewels.com? Jewels.com? <laughs> you fucking heard me. Yeah, that does seem like it would be a site that someone's like squatting I'm literally on. gonna buy jewels.com and put rumors about you up on a while. You fucking better not. I'm gonna put your faces in this you guy. Fucking I'm respected in the jewel community. If you you're respected in the full me. community. You are literally you the biggest fucking... jewel scam artist I know. You sold me a false ruby. I've never, <laughs> false I've <ruby>. never <laughs> sold a falsified jewel. You, I'll have you, you sold know. me a false sapphire. <laughs> You thought I was fucking stupid enough to Did you know it. that one time I went to a convention and there was someone selling rupees from Zelda? For for seventeen dollars a fucking no it was more it was one hundred and seventy eight thousand per rupee. I wouldn't be surprised. Those conventions they take like thirty cents worth of plastic from China they sell for twenty five dollars. <laughs> that's fucking life. Yeah, but that is true. But that's all. But the conventions especially they go oh look it's a fucking sword from Zelda. Yeah, but in my theory know, video of, of con like figuring out the conversion rate of dollars to rupees when I calculate how much. The magic Are you making fun of another the YouTuber, of Lyle? Twilight Princess is, this, is worth Zack! Is this when an I attack? It out. <laughs> is this an attack on a certain YouTuber, Lyle? I'm coming for him. I'm gonna get him. Do your best impression of a tiger sneaking through the forest to get a YouTuber. <laughs> Please leave me alone. I'm just here to make AdSense money. Go away. And then he gets you. Uh, he, that, that's what the tiger says when he gets you. He's like, I got you. I got he, you. He gotcha. You can't make YouTube videos anymore. <laughs> it's trashed. It's trashed. It's trashed. It's trashed. Is it though? Oh, uh, look at you, you little fucking hacksaws. Your epic fucking knowledge here. <laughs> oh, look, it's stars. Everybody gets a gold star See? and a jewel. I found the frickin' film. Now you can make unsavory content about Works, your man. mother. Can we put DSP on the TV there? <laughs> Just really pixelated and perfectly suited. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow! La Leoliosis. La Leoliosis, no bueno. Oh, look! Only Sibylana? I found a fucking sludge diary. Oh. It's Chris's diary. I talked about the. Does he talk about boys? He talks about big buff fucking boys. Talks about big is Chris buff Redfield boys in this game? Is that his tits. diary? Chris Redfield's in the first game. Yeah, but is he, is is he, he a dead corpse in this game? So that's not game? the same Chris. Or was that an it is homage? The, that is a homage. Oh, oh yeah, that's Claire Redfield. That, this is, that's his sister. That's I'm his, a dumb fucking idiot. That's his incestual sister. 
I'd fuck her. Would you? She was my sister. Are you saying are you saying Chris had held hands with his sister? Look at his fucking like sassy neck motions there. He's got really silly posture. He's like arching his ass out. He's trying to be an alpha male to her. <laughs> I'm gonna point at your booby and wave around in your face, you bitch. Here's a radio. Take it. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. I'd Damn. like to keep in touch with your boobies. I've uh, I've been uh, looking at your uh, your your uh, <laughs> I've been checking you out from afar. Checking out your whole deal here. <laughs> I'm gonna... I like the way that the back of your knees are like Lego blocks, and they I like the, separate I like... from your thighs. I like the shape of your skull, sweetie. Come over. <laughs> I like, I like the... to see it from the inside. I like the slope on your brow. <laughs> I, I like your dangerous Alex slope. <laughs> <laughs> God frickin' dang it, dude. Did you just find Axe body spray? Yeah, he found some aid spray. <laughs> Sprays. Sprays, yeah. Ah! It propel- it, it, it- Yeah, you can fucking put that in your mouth and get out of this joint. This frickin' sucks. I don't frickin' know where to frickin' go. Don't frickin' swear. I'm go I'm gonna open this wooden door and I'll- Don't do it! Ah, I'm gonna find a safe room with a boy. Okay. That's the opposite of a safe room. That's a dangerous room. Officer, that hurt. Oh, oh suing! You fucking hurt me. Get out I'm of here. I'm detained. Look, there's no way you're gonna turn into a zombie and keep your hat on at the same time, okay? Look at this. Both of them wearing hat. This is ridiculous. He's gonna more ridiculous. They both have the same blood on their shoulder. This is clearly. Maybe you shot them with the same bullet. Maybe they were perfectly lined up and you shot them in the same place. Oh, you know, you move slower in this game when you get hurt. That's always a nice feature. Mm. Oh. Alright, now three, it, it becomes a pattern. <laughs> Hello? It's freaking locked. Open it up. I want to see what's inside. I can't. I don't have the stupid oh. flipping key. I can't curse no more. YouTube dis disables me. YouTube can't make you say, nuke the... And the... And also the... You know what's fucked up? We're actually allowed to say nuke the Chinese, that's fine. But not other things. You can say... Have you said nuke the Chinese before? Well, right now I have. Oh, yeah. Can you say nuke the fucking slimy, greasy fucking race also known as... The Amish? <laughs> Dude, the Amish would have to, like... Man, they'd be really confused. What are we doing? Is it a coincidence? Would, would is it a coincidence, know, okay, wait, do, do Is it a coincidence know? that 90% that of the media is owned by the fucking Amish? You're gonna sit back and ignore this fact? That 80% I mean, of this of the news it's not is a owned by the Amish? And it's not really a fact either. It's... I think it is a coincidence. Oh, I think well, I mean, no, I mean, it's not. It's not a coincidence that the Holy Amish shit. own CNN and Fox News. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. And oh, also Nelly, Jewel. What com. the fuck? You can do that? Whoa. Whoa! My poor little Leon. So wait, do the Amish... They love the party. They do love to... But do they know... They love to kiss and suck and fuck Lyle to answer your question. <laughs> <laughs> We're not talking about how easy Amish women are. Yes, we are. You take out a ballpoint pen and they're like, oh, God. Oh. But yeah, no. Um, so do they know what nukes are? Like, do they know what technology is, or do they not, like, tell them? Let's drop a nuke on and figure When it out. I went to Pennsylvania to see the Amish, they were all using weed whackers and shit. <laughs> you know, they, yeah, they were, like, using iPhones. <laughs> From what I understand with the Amish, they have, like, a one-year period when they're 18, where they, 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 they crawl through a wormhole into civilization. <laughs> and they see, like, cell phones and scissors and staplers and stuff where they, they, their brains fucking get scrambled. Yeah, I do know that. And then that. they recede back into their fucking, the woods. Well, I, I, I think they have the <laughs> they choice to either never return or... Well, they have the, the but they're banished from yeah, the yeah, Shadow Realm. Yeah, yeah, they are banished. But, but yeah. before they do that, do they know, like, what nuclear bombs are? They must, like, there must, they be, there must be whispers. There has they... to be rumors. If you're Amish, leave a comment. <laughs> if you're like your one year fucking, if you're your one year sucking fuck period. They seriously, they they uh they put them through courses to learn how to create nuclear weaponry, and then they're not allowed to do it when they're the done. The Amish learn how to create nerve gas out of the 17th century. They know how to, uh, they know how to place uh, miniaturized nerve agents on top of a uh, of ICBM. <laughs> This is ridiculous. But it's I like mean, this a, it's is just like the a, silliest conversation it's like I ever heard. It's like a horse-drawn ICBM. 
<laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's seventy five fucking hours lifting yeah, a basic. It's like it's like the Pony Express, but it's basically just a bunch of nerve gas in a big mason jar. <laughs> they did a study. They found that Amish people had longer heads, like uh, lengthwise, because they, they've been interbreeding for like seven thousand years. Well, they use those like those butter churners to stretch their heads out because they think it makes them closer to God. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> their brains are longer, so they can get to God faster. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a wrong. That's why that's they a... wear those big top hats. Yeah, because their brains are seven feet long. Did you know that if you uh, push down on an Amish's top hat, his brain will come out of his mouth? Because yeah. then his eyes and mouth like fucking like Plato. Yeah, like Plato. <laughs> like one of those fucking stress squeezer guys. You know what's really funny? When you when you punch an Amish in the mouth, when he when he misses his wife, he says, "I miss my wife." I miss my wife. My wife is in the bed. And you take a hammer and smack him in the fucking head, and he goes, <laughs> and he runs away. <laughs> Oh, we should totally get our, our commenters to attack the Amish community. Guys, let's harass- Well, they would never fucking see it. Guys, let's harass it's the a Amish. It's cry. You guys send it's the... like writing a book where you let's, just talk let's, shit let's about make, blind people. Let's make, a petition, let's make a petition called Harass the Amish. <laughs> how many of you brave soldiers, how many of you brave patriots will sign this petition? This is a bad idea. Chris, I'll be an they Amish guy. Find, you... like, no, no, the internet's smart. They will find a way to do it. Chris, I'm an Amish guy and you are harassing me, okay? Okay. Hello. Uh, hey Amish, um, I just wanna let you know that your- your pitchfork is bent Ooh. and you look like a fucking bitch. It's <laughs> him falling into himself. It's him digging a hole. He falls in his pitchfork. the fucking insult was so technologically advanced, <laughs> it's the song they all have to make. he was a bitch before. Ooh, okay. He falls in his pitchfork and it curls inward. He starts digging a hole with his pitchfork to the center of the earth. Can you believe that in this police station they put a potted plant right here? Tacky. Ridiculous. Oh. Oh, Lord. There he is. Can you fucking shoot him? Yeah, and then he'll run at me and scare me. Like that. Oh, God, that was pretty lucky. I imagine that that was a lot scarier for its time. Oh, totally. Oh, no, these guys are really hard. I, just, I used three shotgun blasts, which is kind of too much. I don't know if this game would have scared me as a kid. It scared the not, living shit out of me. It's not dark like like the the hallways and stuff they're pretty well lit it's just gritty so far it's the music and the it's the atmosphere it's the t it also imagine if you're alone in your room as a child as a little baby yeah and this was one of the f like kind of you know first good ones of these and also how many yeah how many horror games horror themed games were there not much like it was this. parasite eve and silent hill but they're all different in their own ways yeah, just, maybe, I'd, maybe say, I'd say I'd say of those, out. Silent Hill might be the most horror, like scare theme. This is more, this seems more like in a yeah, like, like Silent Hill probably would have fucked with me if I played it as a kid. But I think this is like more scary than Silent Hill, the first one at least. Silent Hill one's super goofy and the voice acting's super bad. Yeah, I was talking. I've I've only played two. Yeah, I I, I can't play games like that scary. I literally just can't. You, get too you literally can't even. It actually just makes me want to turn it off because I'm too scared. Still? Yeah. So have you never played through Silent Hill? Dude, that that no. that um that that demo that came out a couple years ago before it was PC, canceled. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was great. Yeah, that was really scary. I never got that. A that to play in that VR one. would have given you a fucking stroke. No, yeah, I wouldn't have been able to do that. I would have cried if I played what? it in VR. Oh, it's a key. What, you understand? You understand what just happened? I was gonna say it's the third jewel. I was playing this uh, VR game recently where you're just like, it's just a multiplayer shooter where you're just like, you know, shooting other people, and that was scaring the shit out of me because, because people could just jump out and just fucking scare you. You know, Dude. with with fucking VR, I honestly think that it there might. They might end up like legislating that because it's like it's only a matter of time before someone makes like a really fucking scary game in VR and it like actually kills somebody. <laughs> totally. <laughs> oh, guaranteed. Because I, like, I, what, what, like I was playing like some shitty like VR game where you like throw knives at robots, oh and like God. I I fucking turned around and one was like right in my face. And yeah. It was like genuinely like oh fuck. Cause, yeah. You know it, it's right up there. I waited for somebody to spend oh, a lot of money to either make a really good horror game or to make a really good shooter or something like that, like a real game. But the problem is nobody's spending a lot of money now because you have to waste money basically if you want it to like be a breakthrough right now. Whoa. You know, you have to like spend like fucking 40 million dollars to make a game that even if it does well, you're not going to make it back because it's such a niche market right now, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I think that's going to happen soon. Some rich guy is going to go, I'm going to spend... I'm gonna waste 45 million dollars to make a game that's big that gets popular 
but I'm not gonna get rich from. This should make Pokemon VR. Did you ever play the game uh, Condemned on, uh... That game was pretty scary. On, on Xbox 360. Yeah, I remember that, yeah. yeah. That was pretty fucked, and then the second one was kind of dumb. Uh, Lyle, we should play that, but you should you should play and I should watch. Because I'm too scared to play. I haven't played it in like fucking 10 years, probably. When it, when did it come out? Uh, I think it was 2005? I don't know. Yeah, so I haven't played it in like 12 years, so I, I don't ah, remember 13. much Get out of here. Fall back. Yeah, kick his dick in half. <clears throat> oh no. My dick has been kicked in half. <laughs> That's where it's coming out of. I know! I'm so sick of dealing with these zombies. Is that a... That woman looked normal. That lady looked like a regular she's character. Just, she's just acting. She's yeah, trying to get she's out. she's just like she's into just, yoga and fucking like green tea. She thinks this is like a tantric exercise and Chris is just gonna fucking <laughs> pop her head like a watermelon. <laughs> she doesn't have any bites on her. Don't I don't know her. why there's so many like scantily dressed ladies I in I love here. it. What are you, fucking bananas? No, I mean it's great, but this is a police station and they're all just... I know, it's Oh great. no. She's making sexual noises too. It's oh. making me horny. <laughs> I like your little red oh. converse though. I'm gonna bite you. Oh. I was talking to Nala about this the other day. Oh lord. I was yeah. uh, so uh you know the shoes converse? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think only skinny guys can pull those off? Converse? That's a, I don't I, I, I it's I not it's not that think... I've never seen a big fat obese man wearing them. I just never have looked for oh, a big shit. fat obese guy wearing those. I got no bullets. But, um, I think only little skinny, like, rocker dudes can pull those off, otherwise you might look- Converse, I- 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 I'm, I'm just- Maybe you know, I'm gonna you know? fucking piss off some people in the chat, but they look- They look like something like if you're drawing, like, a cart- Like, like, they remind me of, like, Bart Simpson shoes or something <laughs> like that. Like, they don't- you like, know what it might be, Chris? Here's my here's my theory. I don't know. Like, no, but I don't think if a big really if a big fits. fat guy did wear them, you you're not looking at his shoes because you're looking at his big disgusting bloated stomach and not his shoes. Some people can't pull it off, though. Is what I'm saying. Like uh, Johnny Knoxville can pull it off. I mean, I guess, but Johnny Knoxville, if nothing else, is just like an adult, like Bart Simpson, like oh. character. You know. That's true. He always like, says, he always says eat my ass and stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eat my ass! Eat my ass, kids! I freaking, I freaking love J, J Knoxville. JN, I call him JN. Joan Knoxville. <laughs> Is that... Wouldn't it be JK? Hey, dude, fucking relax. He's just kidding, bro. You don't need to talk to my buddy JN Johnny like that. Knoxville, welcome. I'm not, I'm not, I'm my funny play. Are you guys giving him fucking, uh, Steve O's voice? Hey, what's up, my Steve O? I found a dog in Mexico. <laughs> I love I love Jackass. Do you see where Steve found a dog in fucking Brazil or whatever? Did he, he did he did what to it? He found it. He just found it. He's like, I have my dog now. <laughs> he, just, he took he it. He took home. it. <laughs> he took it. He like found a dog and he's like, I have the dog. Yeah, my dog now. The dog like followed him for like a day and he was like, I take the dog. That's kind of cute. <laughs> then he stomped on it for a prank. <laughs> it was Man. a really small dog. It was really like four oh, times Oh fuck big. off! I don't like this fucking ass basket zombie man. Oh, there's go He hurt my feelings. Do you feelings. ever get like a baseball bat or something that doesn't use ammo, or do you only... Do you only have guns? That concept is too complex. You, you can use a knife, but it's pretty worthless. I'd rather frickin' die than use this stupid ass knife. Wow. Yeah, I said it. Wow. I'll say it again. Boy. Hey, That's Lyle, um, what's the scariest thing you've ever seen? Lyle, what's the scariest creature you've ever witnessed? Off. Uh, <laughs> Get a load of this one, guys. Oh. <laughs> Your mother. No! <laughs> I thought you were going to say the nothing from the never ending story. <laughs> what? <laughs> the nothing. I thought you were going to say Rosie O'Donnell and make me laugh really hard. Oh, okay. Oh, oh I like those zombie noises. I'm getting fucking cornered in every level here. Oh, wow, he didn't grab me. That's surprising. I like how the fan is still on. I, I like how when they're they're ready to kill, they, they start doing like the Michael Jackson from Thriller Shuffle. Yeah. yeah. And they even do the little oh, noise. Yo, man, give me some freaking bullets. God what, fucking What was dang. that you just picked up? That was an ink ribbon for saving the game. Oh. Let me fucking... Give me bullets! Wow, they, they limit your saves? Yeah. This is survival horror, Nile. Oh, fuck. <gasps> I've been eating pussy all day long. 
I want vagini. <laughs> he wants to spread into a pussy open and look at it with his, with his one big eye. Hey, check this See out. what's inside. Oh, I remembered it. Oh, no, no, I did it. I made a boo-boo. That's oh, wrong. Hurry it up. was, the uh, zombies are two, coming for you. Two, three. <gasps> yeah, baby. Don't Dude, do that. Fucking Don't Mr. Memory that. over here. I've got a big fat brow. Chris is fucking the veins in his head are literally pulsating right now. He dug 70 years back to find them. You want to know something funny? What's that? Last night I ate a pizza, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. You're a riot, Chris. And uh because I'm, I'm, I'm so unfit, I'm my, my, my heart started nervous. beating really fast while I was eating it. <laughs> and then I held a, a mic up to it, and it was really loud. Why'd you, you hold a mic up? recording? No. Oh. <laughs> I'll do it next time. So, Your first here's, here's a debate that's happened uh, between yeah. a, a group of our friends, and I, 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 I kind of played Switzerland, because I've never experienced it, but I don't doubt that it's a thing. What? Are pizza sweats a thing? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I, I, I can uh, see it as plausible. I've never experienced pizza sweat. I don't think I'm sweated from eating a pizza, but I think I just feel disgusting, well, I, fat, yeah, greasy, I, I, and horrible. I think, it's, I think the, the concept of pizza sweat is like... I feel like I have like, big, nasty fucking tits and a protruding yeah, gum. Like, well, like, yeah, like you can feel like the oil coming out of your skin. I don't know. It, it doesn't strike if me I as I ever like, sweat while eating pizza, I literally never have pizza again. I feel <laughs> disgusting. Holy shit. Doesn't strike me as intuitively ridiculous. Well, you, you like sweat when you eat like really spicy food, but that's like a cleansing kind of sweat. Oh, the zombie's head turns to look at you while he's lying down. But yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, pizza sweats. I think they're real. I believe it. You believe? You're a believer? I'm a believer. I'm a believer. I'm a bequeefer. <laughs> if I tried. And then I drank her sweat. And now I eat pizza. <laughs> <laughs> It's really weird when it's like a feature that becomes in every single game. Like I remember there was some PS2 game and uh, I remember X play with Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Uh, they were I used to watch etched that. onto the hieroglyphics of the fucking ancient Egyptian tomb that I was raised in apparently. But <laughs> they were like, in this game, if you shoot them in the head, it actually does more damage. It was like, I, I don't remember what the game was. <sighs> it, it didn't end up being a popular game, but it was like, it was notable because it was like the first game that did like headshots, oh. and then that was a thing in like every single. The first game, game to ever that. have a rumble feature was a Worm Odyssey for the SNES. <laughs> you ever play that one? What are you talking no. about? I know you're lying. No, no, that's Worm Odyssey. Worm Rumble. Odyssey? Yeah, it had rumble features. You're the first a fucking one. little liar. <laughs> <laughs> Worm Odyssey. <laughs> What do you do? You That's what I call it every time a, I get in the it's, pussy. It's three it's pixels. The worm odyssey. It's, you say, sweetie, are you ready to go in the worm odyssey? And she yelps. <laughs>